Hey, what's going on guys? It's David here from Gen Zio. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada for CES. I'm here with Anna. Anna, it is a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for coming. So, day three, CES. How has it been going so far? It's been incredible. Uh, very busy, which CES busy is amazing. Okay. Uh, we're having a lot of traction. We are part of uh, HTEC Collaborative uh, from ARP, uh, which is a not only great location, ARP is that, uh, that uh, uh, organization is winning every year the prize uh, for the best booth. So if you haven't been there yet, uh, stop by. It's, it's really amazing. Okay, all right. Is this your first time attending CES? Oh, it's my first time, so I feel like a veteran. Okay, so is it a little bit from your previous experiences? Is this, uh, how does this compare to the last two? I would say uh, from the CES perspective, it's quite similar. I think there is more traffic. Uh, I remember the first one, it was just the first one after the, after the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So it feels that uh, all of the interactions are coming back in place. People are not wearing masks. No one is afraid to shake hand and do the strong handshake. That's yeah. not the case three years ago when I've been here for the first time. So it feels that human interactions are back to where they were before the pandemic. And we slowly even forgetting the word pandemic that such a thing existed. Yeah, I've, so I've chose to like, erase that one. Yes, I think everybody, everyone did it. Like, no, maybe next one in 500 years. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So obviously there's a motive for your, you know, being here. And uh, so I'd like to understand, you know, what is your project, you know, the company that you are here promoting and, uh, and pushing. So why don't you go ahead and introduce that? Oh, absolutely. What we are showcasing at the CES is uh, MindMix technology that uh, enables actually turning earbuds into accurate health monitoring. And when you think about the health monitoring, we usually think about the wrist because this is, this is where, uh, where we put the watches and we usually buy watches now not to measure time, but to measure our heartbeats. And uh, it's great. Watches really generated huge traction toward the health monitoring. Uh, but the technology that they're using to monitor health is, uh, is based on the optical uh, technology. So if you sleep and you look at your watch, you can see the light there. Yep. It's, it's keep uh, your watch is working at, yeah. to monitor your sleep, to monitor your health. And that technology is great for the rest. Uh, but even though the ear is so much better place to collect the data, it's very difficult to put their uh, sensor that has a bigger form factor and will drain the battery. So even though a lot of people were thinking first, oh, if we can put if we put those sensors to the earbud, we can get much better data on, that on the wrist. But the form factor and the battery, it's, it, it really made it very complicated. So we solved that pain point. We are not using the optical light. We're not using. We don't have to add the extra bulky sensor. Yeah. What we have discovered, my mics, was that actually the ear canal is a, a speaker that is uh, broadcasting every heartbeat, and we can pick it up using the microphones that are already in the earbuds for noise cancellation. And this uh, not only helps us to to make um, this technology that adaptability of this technology much faster because if you have already all of the components and let's say you just have to make sure that this microphone is good enough you don't have to design new part you don't have to design new earbud or or add extra cost with adding uh, expensive sensors you, you can use what's there this can really help us bring this technology much faster to the market and that's why also we are at the ces because that's the place where all of the earbud brands, yeah. uh, hearing aids, everybody is there. And a lot of them were stopping today at our booth. So we are very excited. That is awesome. That really is. I mean, myself personally, I use a, an Apple Watch, for example. I use it for training. I like to m maintain my heart rate, mm -hmm. um, the calories I've burned, um, the, the speed that I'm running at. Um, so, you know, this is, this is something that, that's awesome. You're able to monitor yourself with this. It's, you know, essentially, correct me if I'm wrong, but like biometric earbuds, right? Pretty much uh, on steroids. On steroids, <laughs> nice. Or now even uh, the way how I like talking about it is it's, uh, it's um, I don't know if you guys watch Star Trek. Yeah. I didn't, but people told me <laughs> that <laughs> there was this device to monitor health that uh, non-invasively able, was able to scan your body and find out 
make uh, do the whole scan and provide the metrics about your health. So this is pretty much what it does because the sound wave uh, have uh, properties that the optical light doesn't have. Mm -hmm. uh, if you if you use the optical light, you are limited to the blood flow just below the skin. If when you use the sound waves, uh, you zooming in, you're actually hearing every organ. Wow. Where it is. And that sound waves are traveling to the ear canal and the ear canal has a special properties because it was designed by nature as a transducer that we use, the brain is using to pick up the sounds from outside. Mm -hmm. But because it's attached to the body, it's also uh, pulsating in the rhythm of the heart and yeah. all of the organs and our muscles. And we can pick it up using the microphones. And because of that, because we're using those sound waves um, uh, at the uh, frequency range below our hearing range, so we don't hear ourselves, we think like, if, if we stop talking, we would think like, oh, our body is so, so quiet. Actually, no, <laughs> we just don't hear it, how loud we are, yeah. uh, it's, which is good for us. Uh, but the microphones, when we put the microphones or, or looking at them, uh, we use microphones to, to listen to the frequencies below 20 hertz, we can get extremely accurate picture of our health, especially cardiovascular system, yeah. that today you would have to actually put the probe into heart to get that information. So that's why it's, it's pretty much like Star Trek, that uh, non-invasively yeah. we can scan what's, what's happening in the body. Oh my gosh, wow, that's, that's amazing. Now, this might be a dumb question, but can you listen to music with them? Oh, that's an excellent question. Uh, actually, yes, you, we don't, uh, you can have all of the functions of the earbuds, uh -huh. noise cancellation, and you can listen to music. And the trick for that is that we're listening, um, uh, we're using the frequencies below our hearing range. Mm -hmm. So all the music is in the different frequency ranges, in the higher frequency range, and we go below. So in this way, we can completely separate the two, and music does not uh, distort. Doesn't affect signal. it. Okay. All right. Now, would this be something that you might want to wear to sleep? Oh, absolutely. I do wear earbuds for sleep because it gives completely next level of metrics and looking at the recovery. Uh -huh. uh, when you think about the watches, they are pretty cool because they give you estimate of the sleep stages yeah. and the recovery score. With this data, I don't know if we can show the uh, data history to the, to the, uh, to the camera because I could, I could show you whenever I'm wearing uh, earbuds. Mm -hmm. For sleep, you can actually uh, look at the heart variability uh, in a very short time scale. When you look at this parameter, you can actually see if you're going, if, you, if your body is really recovering. Yeah. And uh, whenever I see, I know that uh, I'm, I didn't had late dinner, I didn't had alcohol, not even one drink. And then hmm. <laughs> it's difficult, especially here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, then if you go really to the recovery mode, that body is, is uh, that your whole body is going to the recovery, you can see that this cardio variability is, is going extremely high. And then at the end of the night, it's going down. But it has so many oscillatory patterns. Mm -hmm. So that's something you can only see when you have enough accuracy. And then you can really zoom in and 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 see how your body was was recovering during the entire night okay and you can see in las vegas that uh, that's not really the case <laughs> yeah um but that's okay okay then go and and sometimes i just thought about you know can can children use these is there an age range that you know can or cannot Oh, actually, um, a lot of uh, potential partners are coming to us and asking about this uh -huh. because it's such a great application. Yeah. Not only on the well-being side, because kids already are used to wearing uh, or they start wearing earbuds. Yeah. Teenagers especially. Like yeah. Every teenager, if you see them, like they just are glued to those devices. That's right. Yeah. They are born with them now, apparently, <laughs> and they, they just, just wear all the time. Uh, for us, there is actually no age limit. You yeah. just have to make sure that uh, you account for all of the usability aspects. Yeah. Um, your kids can have a little bit smaller ear canals, so you yeah. have to make sure that it's comfortable for them. Uh -huh. And it's a really great application. Uh, and uh, few people ask us actually uh, express the interest of also using it in infants, uh, uh -huh. but on the medical side. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you cannot do uh, you cannot do cardiac catheterization yeah. in those kids because they are too tiny. They're too tiny, yeah. Devices are way too big. So imagine that we could they have a big heads <laughs> and um, pretty big ear canal. So uh, we're looking forward to to partner with uh, with uh, 
cardiologists and 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 uh, institutions that would like to push in that direction because we could save the lives in the way that we cannot today. Beautiful. The mission is amazing. Really, it is. I, I like it a lot. It's uh, it's fantastic. So, what does the future hold for you guys? The future for us and. That's why also we're here to, to create that future, is to enable this technology for licensing you know, with as many companies as possible, especially earbud companies, hearing aid companies. Uh, the advantage of it is that we don't need extra sensor. To, so in principle, they shouldn't be much more expensive than the earbuds we wear today. And the health is such an important aspect of our health. Uh, that we want to make sure that we can, uh, for us, the path forward is to enabling this technology so every earbud uh, can give you accurate picture of your health, first on the well-being side, and in the meantime, we will continue our clinical studies. Uh, we already did a lot of clinical validation. We have shown that this technology can detect irregular heart rhythms, like atrial fibrillation, for example. And it's very important because uh, you want to make sure that it's there, those those uh, irregular heart rhythms are start developing. Uh, you want to catch them as soon as possible because they may cause stroke. And that's why uh, all of the watches actually already have a detection of irregular heart rhythms. So we have shown that we can detect it with the same accuracy as ECG, as gold standard. That was one thing. Then we had one of the patients that we were looking at the data from. Uh, that patient had a very severe aortic stenosis. Mm -hmm. Uh, so basically, valve is op barely opening, or is is super stiff. So it it, it uh, requires a uh, heart to create a lot of pressure to to push the blood. So people with with those conditions, uh, their heart get used much faster. Uh, and on top of that, va valves. Uh, what's happening with those valves is that uh, the flow, the blood flow, is is not very smooth. Yeah. So they create extra murmurs. So there is extra turbulences around and. Yeah. Uh, those murmurs actually we can we can detect through the ears we can hear them too so imagine that you could look at the irregular heart rhythms you can look at uh, at uh, murmurs that are such a big indication that something can be wrong with the heart and recently the recent paper that we have just submitted to nature cardiovascular health is focusing on blood pressure mm -hmm. we're showing that from the heartbeats through the ear we can actually also predict both systole and diastole blood pressure so we keep adding to that picture of the of the heart health and we will not stop there we have much more data that we haven't published yet that are extremely exciting well i'm excited to uh read about this data and see see what you guys do next so where can we follow you guys and stay up to date with what you guys are up to well, the best place to follow up uh, as we are very active on LinkedIn, uh, that's the key platform that we're using uh, mm -hmm. as we are looking for mostly business-to-business -business relationship and leads. So if you want to see what's happening, we make sure that there's at least one post about what's new on LinkedIn and mindmax.com as well. And uh, you can also use our website to, to get in touch with us. Perfect. Well, Anna, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up? What's up? If you want to survive, you got to build a house. I can tell you do not understand. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen. Go back at the Gen Z Media House. Oscar, thanks so much for joining us today.